and welcome everyone back to another video. Now today I have a really cool video coming for you guys because I get questions on the daily, like literally all the time saying, can you do like a coding video to explain what you've had coded to your car and are you going to do any more coding? Are you going to get the biggest screen? So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be installing the big iDrive screen. I have it down here. So yeah, we're going to be installing this big iDrive screen. Now to do that, we're going to be hooking up with Define Coding, Kyle from Define Coding. I'll explain a little bit more about Define Coding in just one second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the car and show you what I've currently got coded and explain what we're going to get coded in a moment. But one of them is is the uh, the new screen so if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I <laughs> I had to remember what was coded on the car because I got this car with it already coded on it was almost as if it was never coded so I've got a list on my phone of what I've got coded but two of the coding things that I've got done is actually in here so one of them which I didn't realize is a digital speedo now down there I didn't realize that that wasn't stock um, I found out from the previous owner that that was actually coded in so that is one of the things I got coded and the second one is actually on the iDrive screen itself so if we go down to vehicle information then go to vehicle status then go to tire pressure monitor now it isn't actually going to tell me now because we're not moving um, but basically and also the car has literally just been turned on but basically what happens is when I start moving when the car's been on for a little bit longer so as soon as I start moving what it will say is obviously the PSI all the way around which is normal I do believe I don't know if that has to be coded or not but I have actually got the temperature of the tires now it's one of those things you don't necessarily need but it's quite cool to see um, what the temperatures are especially like you know you don't want to put your foot down or anything like that with cold tires so that's quite cool to see so that was another thing I got coded and actually I completely forgot there was another thing inside here and that is this uh, auto start stop now I don't know if you're aware but auto start stop is so annoying when you come to the traffic lights if you put it in neutral it will turn the engine off it's just I've heard it can put quite a lot of strain on your car like the alternator and stuff like that so what actually um, my mate my my mate who used to have this car he coded it out so no matter what mode it's in other than eco it will always be off unless unless I just click on like that so now it is on so you it's not as if you can't always use it it's still there it's just programmed to stay off unless you tell it otherwise basically unless it's in eco then it always stays on but you can then turn it off it's a bit weird but yeah everything it's always defaulted off other than eco so the last couple bits that are coded are actually outside on the car and it's to do with the mirrors so when I lock the car the mirror goes in and when I unlock the car, the mirror comes out. However, I thought this would be like a standard thing, but apparently it's not. Normally you have to hold down the unlock button. However, this has been programmed just to be one click, which I find a lot easier than holding down the button. And also finally, you probably would have heard it, but when you do lock it and unlock it, it does a little beep. So for example, when I lock it, it makes one beep. And then when I unlock it, it does two beeps pretty cool and it just it makes you aware that you've definitely unlocked or locked your car so yeah that was just a quick run through of everything i've got coded so far however today obviously define coding are going to code my new screen now hopefully i bought the right one because there are a few you can get i'm hoping i have it looks like it's the right one but you never know until it actually gets plugged in so yeah they're going to be coding that and they're also going to be coding my rear lights so they always stay on um, so you're probably wondering why would you want to do that however what I'm going to do is obviously you've got the front DLRs the daylight running lights or DRL sorry daylight running lights so they're always on so I thought why don't we have the rears on as well all the time because when I get my tints in the future it will look really cool with the lights on behind the tints all the time I think it'll look really smart but yeah enough rambling on if you do go ahead and enjoy this video make sure you leave a like rating comment and also subscribe to see more content like this I want to give a massive shout out to Define Coding right now for kind of making this all happen he sent out the wire to go ahead and plug into the laptop to then plug into the car and and also he's doing the coding which is really nice of him so a massive shout out i'll leave all links and stuff in the description now a little bit more information about define coding all the services they provide they can do remotely which i think is awesome you can literally be anywhere with your car and this cable and laptop and some internet and he can code anywhere which i think is really cool what he does is he remotes onto your computer using like a, like a remote viewing program called 
team viewer. He could basically jump on your computer, load up all the software and program my car to do whatever obviously I've uh, requested. So he offers like all different packages. So he has like some smaller packages and then he has like big packages and he can do like the video in motion. So if you've got the new iDrive, you can have like a full video playing. He, so he can do the big Apple CarPlay. So if you've only got the half screen Apple CarPlay, he can make it the full screen. There's so many different things. And obviously all the things that I've mentioned earlier wrong about what I've got coded on my car, he can also code on your car as well. Um, but I didn't actually get that done through him. My, the previous owner did that through some Bimmer code or something like that. I don't know what exactly he used. But um, yeah, this is like a really nice way. So all you've got to do is obviously you pay Carl to do it and it just gives you the peace of mind with him doing it to your car because obviously he's a, like a trained professional and you can get like the Carly and the Bimmer codes and stuff like that but I kind of wouldn't trust myself just because I've never done it and obviously it's, it could you could do some damage to your car potentially but to find coding the professionist I'd rather leave them to do it on my car just so I know it's done properly. But yeah, another thing that Define Coder can also do, which I think is really cool, is they can remap your car wirelessly. So they can put like an ECU tune on there, um, and there's like some software you can change, like the burbles and all them stuff. I will leave a link actually to um, a fellow YouTuber called Tim Williams. He did a whole video on it. Um, so if I can find that, I'll leave the link in the description. But he's got a BMW, he's got an M140i actually, and it's a pretty good weapon. But yeah, anyway, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery, get the screen installed, and once that's installed, we'll give Carl from Define Coding a call and I'll let him explain a little bit more about what he does. First of all we've got to disconnect the battery, install the screen and then we'll give him a call. So let's go ahead and pry the dash apart. I've never actually done this before just to let you know so uh, this could be interesting but I've looked online and it looks like it's just a case of flipping, pulling these up but I could be wrong. Boom. But yeah, that is the front bit off. Um, it was fairly simple to fair. You just got to keep pulling it off and just hoping for the best. But So guys, there we have it. That was a lot harder than I thought. Like, for some reason, the wires in there was a lot tighter than what I've seen on videos. Normally you can take the whole thing out, but yeah. Now that is installed, I just need to double check that it's definitely plugged in the back properly, which it is. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably leave that like that until Define Coding have coded it, just so I can make sure that obviously it definitely works. So if we leave that like that, We'll give Define Coding a call and then uh, we'll try and get it all working. So I've got TeamView open there. I've got the cable going into the car there. I've also connected the battery back up so that can go back down. The boot can now go down. So now it's time to call Kyle. So I've just given him all like the team viewer details. Now I do apologize, I am sweating it. I chose the hottest day of the year. It's absolutely boiling and obviously I can't have the aircon on. So. I've given him the details to get onto the computer, so hopefully, in a few seconds, we should see him take control of the computer. Hopefully. I think he's taken over now. So, there we go, he's taking control of the computer. How weird is that? Now, for some people, that might be really weird, but as, as part of my job, I actually remote onto people's computers, so I'm kind of used to it now. So, let's just see what he's doing, and then we could give him a call in a second, I do believe, and then we can chat over the phone. Hello mate, you alright? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you, yeah. Just a quick question, have you got your ignition running and is the cable connected to the car? Uh, the cable's pl uh, plugged in but I haven't turned the ignition on yet. Yeah, do you want to turn the ignition on for me? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then if you want to have the engine running? And the engine running, yeah. yeah. Alright, everything's on now. Perfect, so while you're on the phone, did you want to kind of give a bit of a, a little run through of what you do as a company? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm Kyle, obviously I'm, I'm the owner of Define Coding. Um, we specialise in enhancing BMWs mainly, and, and we're, we're a coding specialist. Um, you know, we offer everything from retrofit coding, so per se fitting the screen you're fitting today, to LCI lights, to digital clusters, so anything that can be retro, retrofit to these cars obviously has to be coded in because of the way the ECU structure works. Um, but we mainly specialize in the software products towards BMWs, everything's OEM plus or OEM, so we only use you know OEM parts, OEM FSC codes. Um, we do a lot of the standard stuff with the convenience coding, so you know like 
one touch folding mirrors, reversible handle LEDs, features within the car that just help enhance your vehicle and make it to the next level. Um, yeah. We also sell Puma 3, which obviously partners quite well with the BMW petrol engines. Um, you know, the three, the 35i, the 40i's, and then obviously the M performance vehicles um, we mainly cater for. And um, you may have seen recently, um, we, we, we now are XHP resellers, so this basically maps the gearbox and changes sort of the, the torque vectors and whatnot, and yeah, it's quite yeah. a good, you know, good feature to have if you've got a ZF automatic gearbox. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and as I said, guys, I'll leave all links and uh, information in the description down below. And obviously, I did say, I just heard you say about the one-touch folding mirrors. Now, my car's already got that, so I already explained a few bits I've already had coded by the previous owner. But as I said, yeah, define coding, do all different uh, types of coding. So all the coding that I've obviously have done, but be sure to get in contact with them and let them know, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all links and stuff in the description down below. So guys, it is actually the next day. However, yesterday, Mia's laptop, for whatever reason, didn't want to work. So I've now eventually got my dad's laptop. It's really, really old. So I'm hoping Kyle at Define Coding can actually obviously use it because it is so slow. But fingers crossed, so far, it's working a lot better than, um, than Mia's laptop. But for some reason, it's actually Mia's laptop that just didn't de detect my car at all, but this is. So fingers crossed, we should have a working screen and also the rear lights coded in about 10 minutes or so. Yo, that. That is cool, it's working, it's working, it's working. Hello mate, you're right? Hey, Hello, you're right? Yeah, not too bad mate, not too bad. Good. Um, should be all sorted. Yeah, it looks like it's all on screen. Um, can I have like, can I go through it or not? Yeah. Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah, do what you want. Um, yeah, literally looks absolutely fine, mate. All good. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was obviously the other thing that we were going to do is the rear lights get coded so they always stay on. Are you still okay to do that? Oh, just for you, Brett. Of course, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I reminded you or not. Sorry. No, no, that's what I mean. Don't worry about it. You don't have to apologise. Yeah. Cheers, Brett. Perfect. Cheers, Carl. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. There we go guys, that is all done. I'm super happy, I'm literally buzzing now. I wanted this like pro nav screen for so long. Look how cool that looks. I mean, you can't see it in a minute because obviously the lighting, but it's literally on there, finally. So now I've got like, the, the I can have everything on like a big display, that is so nice. Oh yes, I love that. I'm so glad I got the right screen. I was really worried about not having the correct screen because apparently you can get the wrong one, but that is definitely working. That looks awesome. This is about half an hour later because what I did was I packed up all my stuff and went for a quick drive because I wanted to have a bit of a play with a new screen. And honestly, guys, what a transformation it's made. Look how much better that looks. Like, before I only had like a tiny little screen about that big. Now I've got the full screen. So if I go on to, for example, if I go on navigation uh, and then go on to, actually that's probably a bad idea because that will show where I am. So if I'd go on to like vehicle information, um, I can now go across and it takes up the whole screen. That's probably not the best, um, probably the best page to show you. Um, but yeah, everything now just takes up the full screen, so you can do like the split, I do believe. So you can have like your music and the maps, but this honestly, is so much better than the other one like i'm super super happy with it and it literally took kyle like 10 minutes or so once he actually got it working um once we got the laptop working um but yeah honestly i'm so happy with that so another thing he coded is normally the door when you lift up the window it just stops it doesn't do the automatic uh, lift up so say if the door this door was shut now and you would do that it would go up yeah but normally for example, if I were to, um, so for example, if I were to open the door now and try it again, normally you couldn't do that. You'd have to hold it down. So he's coded that in, so it always just, uh, it just basically just lifts it up by itself. You, all you got to do is just do a flick of it, which I think is really cool. I didn't even realise we were going to get that coded, so that's really cool. And another thing he got coded was these rear lights. So obviously I'm going to get them tinted very soon. So these are going to look really cool at night. Um, so basically they, they have just been coded so they always stay on as daylight running lights essentially So they're never going to go off unless I want them to I suppose But yeah, these are always going to stay on and I think that looks really nice And then the final thing he coded which I didn't even know he was going to code is The welcome lights so normally when I do the welcome lights It only does the daylight running lights and it does like the high beam or the, the, the low beam But now what he's done is when I unlock it it does the fog lights they fade up as well how much better does that look? 
So now it, it lights up the fog lights, it lights up the daylight running light, like the angel eyes, and also it does the low beam. But look how much smarter that looks. And obviously if I lock it, they then fade out. But honestly, I'm super happy he did that. What is he, I didn't even know he was gonna do it, but he was like, do you want me to do it while I'm there? So honestly, look how cool that is. For some reason, that is epic. For the fog lights to turn on as well, I really like that. That looks really cool. But anyway, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this kind of short video of me coding a few bits on my car, letting you know also what I've previously got coded and also getting the iDrive screen put in. What I want to do is I want to give a massive shout out to Define Coding. Obviously, I have shouted them out throughout this video, but I just cannot, I cannot get over how good their customer service is. Like Kyle at Define Coding is a proper sound guy. We had a few issues yesterday, but he was like, no worries, we'll just do it tomorrow. And it was my issue, it was the actual laptop's issue, not nothing to do with him. We got the new laptop, I tried my dad's laptop and it worked first time. So yeah, a big shout out to Define Coding. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and I'll put all links and uh, their website and stuff in the description so you can go ahead and get some stuff coded for your BMW. But it does sound like that they can do an awful lot. Like Kyle can do an awful lot. Like, like you can do anything from coding your lights, your screens, your mirrors, anything. You can do it all. So definitely get in touch if you want some coding done. I honestly can't get over how good that looks. Like for you guys it probably doesn't make a difference but it just adds to the whole cockpit. Obviously I've got the metal pedals and I've got the new screen. There's going to be a few more bits coming soon um, and obviously I've got the red stop. I've got the red stop start button as well, but it's, the interior is definitely coming along. But I've got a few more bits to come. Something to do with this as well. That, that should be something to look forward to. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, rating, comment, and also subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in another video.